Welcome to FX Street. If you like what we're talking about, head on over to YouTube and join our channel by hitting that subscribe button. Follow Kasha and I individually on Twitter at uh, Kasha at Mangyeko, uh, zero and myself at Just Analysis One. Taking a look here at Bitcoin. So, all right, I got to first off, I got to point point something out. So, this is one of the most structurally obvious <laughs> point uh, head and shoulders patterns that Bitcoin has printed in a while. This is on the weekly chart. Um, so if you read Thomas Polkowski's work on, on uh, chart patterns, you'll know that, that uh, head and shoulders patterns are by far like the most profitable. And uh, they're the most obvious, but they're also the most profitable chart patterns that exist. The problem with them is that they're also the most rejected chart patterns in existence. And one of the, I mean, anybody who's been trading for a while knows that it seems like the more obvious the head shoulders pattern, the more likely it is to get rejected. And, you know, if you were a, a, someone who uh, liked to move markets, um, you would probably be frothing at the mouth right now thinking about how many people you're going to trap on the short side of this market and how many people you caused to abandon their uh, uh, positions because of a head and shoulders pattern, and this is a this is a, probably one of the great examples, if it plays out, of, of a major major fake out south. You have a, a, a number of reasons why a low is likely in for Bitcoin here, um, despite it being inside this. And this is this is one of the primary reasons why I'm I, I'm anticipating the low here is that it already kind of tested the 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 upper part of this thick chunk of volume um, around 40K. But you have the optics bands in extreme oversold conditions. There's a bullish cross coming on the composite index. And level 30 is holding as a, as a strong support zone um, in the uh, RSI. On the weekly chart, sitting pretty neutral at 40. That's the first, that's the, the, the last oversold level in the bull market, even though they don't have it set up on there right now. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of reasons to anticipate uh, either really fairly or unlikely a fairly broad uh, uh, rejection here and a continuation of the uptrend. I mean, when you look at it on a weekly chart, uh, it's this bull flag that's, that's here. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know how much more standard. You, I mean, it's the most textbook looking bull flag that you, you you could find on bitcoin recently and yeah i just don't not overly concerned i'd see downside risks are limited again to the um, bottom of the cloud here at uh roughly 30 3750 38k that's where i would see it going down as as far as its lows but otherwise i i do see it um continuing higher here uh, to at First to 47 and a half K to test that kid and send and the, and the point of control and then beyond that to new all time highs. Um, yeah, so that's what I see. I'll pass it off to you, Akash. Thank you, John. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, I was expecting uh, the long Bitcoin yesterday uh, because I saw this uh, trouble tap setup form here on the one hour time frame. Uh, but I was kind of hesitant because. Uh, I, you know, the liquidity uh, zone here, which extends from 39,000 to 47 to 40,747, uh, was kind of untapped here by these two swindlers that I saw. So I expected a little bit of deeper correction, uh, which did come in fact, but I kind of forgot too long. Uh, uh, but regardless, I, I think it's, uh, it doesn't matter. For now, there is this uh, supply zone here, which is waiting to be breached into a potential breaker extending from 42,790 to 42,037. And I believe this is going to be breached pretty soon. And uh, we're going to make a run for the previous uh, Monday's low, Monday's high uh, at 47,609. Either the, I think these levels are going to be breached and we're going to get a retest of uh, the Monday's high, previous, month, previous week's uh, Monday, which is uh, 47,609. So this is where I want to cap my upside uh, for Bitcoin uh, the, because it was quite a bit of consolidation here. So and the 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 sell stops resting below these swing high swing highs are still untapped. So we might probably get a wick 
up to this point here, which is 48,436. But anything beyond that, I don't see it happening. <clears throat> but if you look at this overall structure, for instance, uh, the December 3rd, December 4th crash, there is a really good looking double top formation here. So obviously there's a lot of liquid resting above uh, these swing highs, which is at 50,150. And interestingly, the upside for Bitcoin seems really perfectly set up because there's also an FEG here from a four-hour time frame, if you see.